like a herb sausage type chicken patty. You got cheese. You got the texture of the American cheese. It's gonna be American cheese. And you got the fluffy scrambled eggs. It is better than the composition, guys. And you know what I'm talking about. Hey Jed, are you loving it? Are you McLovin? I'm McLovin it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Raph. I'm a YouTuber based in Sydney. In this channel, we normally talk about food, travel, and the occasional street fashion. And this is a food video. Hey okay guys, this is a food vlog. Now, um, in this video, I'm gonna take you guys to some of the cafes that you need to hit up here in Sydney in 2021. And right now, um, in sunny Haberfield, I'm here at one of the most hyped cafes here in Sydney. Yeah, so I'm here at Happy Field. And I'm with my buddy, my homie Jed, who I haven't caught up in a while. What's up guys, what's up? All right, so he also has um, a YouTube channel and I'll put a link down to, below to his channel. Check it out, he does sneakers, lifestyle, a lot of stuff. Um, if you all need a videographer, photographer, he does that stuff too, so yeah. All right, so back to the cafe. Right. So the first cafe, as I said, the first cafe in this video is Happy Field here in Happy Field. When I say hype, I'm talking about like queues after eight o'clock every weekend. Um, so right now it's a weekday, it's a Wednesday, and we're lucky. There's no queue. I mean, it's already packed, but there's no queue. But if you come here on the weekends, make sure you come as soon as they open because I think after like 15 or 30 minutes when they open, boom, there's a line. So Happy Field uses coffee from five senses, and for all their espresso-based drinks like you know cappuccino, piccolo latte. You know, flat white. They use um, the Compton Road blend, quite bold, like it punches through milk really nice. Down to the food. Now here at Happy Field, they are known for their pancakes. They may look like <laughs> McDonald's pancakes, but trust me, like, I've been here a few days ago for a special event. I've tried their pancakes and it's it's nice. It may look simple, like the, you know, the thin type pancakes, but like with the maple syrup they use with the famous pepisaya butter on it, man, it's divine, it's amazing. And they're also known for their McLovin muffin, which is like a play on the classic McDonald's egg McMuffin. Egg cheese McMuffin, I think. All right, so the McLovin muffin is here, the pancakes are here. As I said, I've tried the pancakes like a few days ago at their fried chicken and pancake special event, and it was amazing. So we're gonna start with the um, McLovin muffin cheese, egg, and patties. How do you put that? That's a McLovin muffin, baby. Let's try that now. Oh my god. The chicken patty is amazing. The eggs are super fluffy. Mmm. I can see the hype. It's like a herb sausage type chicken patty. You got cheese. You got the texture of the American cheese. It's gonna be American cheese. And you got the fluffy scrambled eggs. It is better than the composition, guys. And you know what I'm talking about. Bloody hell, like, look, look how crispy that is. Mm. Hey, Jed, are you loving it? Are you McLovin? I'm McLovin it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so we poured some, like, Canadian maple syrup in the pancakes ready. Some of that amazing pepisaya butter. I love pepisaya. Best butter in the world. Might be shout out to Pierre. Hey Pierre, if you're watching this video, they're thin, but they're quite fluffy. They actually taste nice too. And then you chase it with some bacon. Mm. All right, Jed and I are gonna keep eating, and we're gonna jump on to the next cafe in a few seconds. So we're here at our next cafe stop in our list of must-visit cafes in Sydney in 2021. We're here at Tokyo Lamington. Now, 
If you guys have been following this channel for a while, you all know that I did a vlog on Tokyo Lamington months ago, sometime last year in 2020. It's in 2021 now and they've opened a shop here in Newtown. So it might look familiar because it's familiar because this shop used to be the OG Black Star Pastry Shop. This is now their permanent shop and here they've got more coffee going on. They've got espresso based drinks, they've got filter, they have cold brew. They also have this amazing black sesame latte you all need to try. So Min is running a single order right now from Single O. Um, it's an Ethiopian and I chose to have it in um, a piccolo latte. About to have that. Mm, it's quite nutty, it's a little bit vibrant, heaps fruity as you would expect from an Ethiopian coffee. So the, besides Lamingtons, uh, you know, they specialize in Lamingtons, um, they also have this amazing twist on onigiri. Um, unfortunately today they've run out of onigiris but I've been here uh, a few weeks ago and I've tried their onigiri and they are amazing. I want to put a photo up or a video up of the bacon and egg onigiris that they have here. Now the bacon and egg onigiri here, it's got nice umami packed bacon inside the onigiri and it's also got ramen eggs or umami eggs or ajitama. Alright, so jumping now onto the Lamingtons. One of the permanent ones is their favorite bread and it's fairly popular. Here it is. Boom. So I've actually never tried their favorite bread Lamington before but it's you know permanent in the roster you know you gotta try it because apparently it's popular my first time trying it with you guys mm, 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 mm. so all right so the fair red lamington it's you know you've got the usual spongy inside and it's got water cream filling in the middle and apparently it's dipped in children's creams and unicorn dreams wow <laughs> And here's the inside. Sorry. Alright, another new flavor I'm gonna try here is the tiramisu lamington. Here's the tiramisu lamington. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so it's dipped in coffee and marsala sauce. And in the inside, it's got mascarpone cream. Yeah. Uh, about to get it. Mm. I mean, it makes sense to do tiramisu lamington, right? I can taste the marsala in it. I can taste the um, the nice velvety mascarpone cream in the middle. Mm. And the coffee, this is divine, guys. Wow. They've got a wide range of lamingtons to offer different flavors. No one in Sydney specializes in lamington. All right, so let's go to the next shop now. Alright guys, another day, another cafe that we're hitting up in this vlog in this must-visit cafes in Sydney in 2021. Alright, so the last stop in this vlog is Seoul Deli. Seoul Deli is a cafe by the same team behind Seoul Dining, which I still haven't tried in. All my friends, everyone's been telling me how amazing that place is, so we're gonna hit that up sometime soon. So I've done a vlog review in this place in the past, not long ago. I'll put a link down below to that. Um, last time I was here, I was here with Chocolate Suzy and we tried a few things like we had their pork kimchi cheese toasty. That's amazing guys. Oh my gosh. Um, it was like buttery inside with a pork belly and the kimchi flavor in there. It's like umami, it was stretchy gooey cheese. It's like one of the best toasties guys. So they make their own house made um, buttermilk pancakes and they're fluffy guys. And you have to pair them with Korean fried chicken. I've ordered something different that I've not included in the um, blog post that I've done for this place. So I've ordered their Seoul Galbi bowl, which is uh, so this, apparently the, the Galbi or beef short rib is, um, it was marinated, it's an Angus beef short rib that's been uh, marinated in Korean pear soy sauce, some sort of marinade like that overnight. So I can't wait to have that. That's gonna be packed with flavor. All right, so our coffees have arrived. So the, the coffee here is sourced from Primary Coffee. I've ordered a piccolo latte and also I've ordered a batch filter. So the batch filter is in Bolivia today. Very chocolatey, vibrant. Um, I like that, that's my style. All right, going for the Bolivia filter now. A lot of um, it's a lot of stone fruit um, notes in that, a bit apricotty. 
Hey yo guys, the food has arrived. I'm so excited, man. So the, the galbi bowl is here. We also have a side of fried chicken. Man, I'm excited. So I'm looking at this bowl and this fried chicken. As soon as they put the food down, I can smell all the aroma, the amazing smell out of the food. It's, oh, it's just getting me all hyped up and I'm so excited. The galbi bowl. The galbi bowl, we've got the Angus beef rib that was um, marinated overnight. And then we've got um, pickles in there. There's lotus fruit. There's like a fried um, seaweed in there too. There's a mommy egg, like a, 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 a flavored marinated egg in there too that's soft boiled. There's spinach. There's, oh man, I'm excited. there's kimchi in there too. Wow, I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, I can really see how fatty it is. Oh wow, that's buttery, packed with flavor, a lot of umami, hashtag we love umami. I'll have a little bit of rice. Mmm, there's a sweet soy sauce underneath that, caramelly, a lot of umami, it's just wow, a bit of that, um, like that radish pickle. No. Yeah, no, I know why. A bit sour, a bit, a bit, sour, a bit sweet. Mm. Some of that spinach too. Mm. Nice sweet notes in there. That Korean style um, soft boiled egg. Kind of like their version of um, ajitamago. Oh wow, that's perfect. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, boy. Fried nori. Mm. Crispy and so much umami in that. Oh my god. Here we go. Mm. That caramelly flavor with umami in there. And hints of um, like heat. A little bit spicy. Not too spicy, just a little bit. Here at Seoul Deli, that's why I came back here. Even I've already been here and done a um, blog post about this place. I came back because I want to show you guys like what, like how well they do this whole Korean cafe fusion that they do in this place. It's just amazing. Um, these are my three recommended um, cafes to visit in 2021 here in Sydney. And not just for 2021, but even for the future. But this, this year, if y'all haven't been to any of these places, they're all sort of newish. But anyway, guys, where's your favorite cafe in Sydney? Where's your new favorite cafe in Sydney? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, which next cafe should I visit? And guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and smash it if you want to. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you're up to date with all my videos. All right, guys, um, thanks again for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace, much love, and I'm out.